We're going to step through a tutorial on nonlinear regression. And in this case, we're going to do this in MATLAB. Um, and uh, I've also done a couple tutorials in Python and then another one in Excel using the same example. Okay, so what we're going to have is um, some data. And in this case, we'll just have X and Y and then values. Um, you know, there could be a lot of data um, and or a little amount of data. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and a model. Okay, and the model in this case is just going to be Y equals A plus B divided by X plus C times uh, natural log of X. So we have this model and uh, this data and what we want to do is be able to determine the parameters a b and c of this model that best uh, fits this data okay so data and model and then we'll use um, also a script uh, to run this so once we have our data and model we'll use um, either matlab um, you can also use python or you can use Julia. Um, there's a lot of different uh, scripting languages that allow you to do these kinds of regressions. Okay, um, we're just going to start um, with MATLAB in this case. Okay, so we have data and model. Let's go ahead and uh, generate our data file first. Um, and you can, just for this example, uh, you can just generate your own data. Or um, if you come to the web, um, apmonitor.com slash CHE 263. Okay, so this is the course, uh, introductory course for engineers and scientists. Uh, particularly, this is chemical engineering. If you come down to the MATLAB example, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this uh, data regression. Okay, there's a linear and polynomial regression, or if you come down to the nonlinear regression, um, here's the source code for. Uh, this example here. I'm going to go ahead and open it and then I'll extract all. Okay, and once it's extracted, um, let's just go ahead and take the data.csv file. Um, let's go ahead and just copy that and then come back to our desktop and create a new folder here. And uh, this will be uh, nonlinear uh, regression. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put this um, this data file. If I just open it up in Excel, um, I'll see that I have um, x and y values there. Okay, so just um, x and y. And I call those xm and ym. Those are just for x measured and y measured. You can call them anything you want, but just make sure you save as. Um, when you do the save as, make sure it's a uh, CSV and comma delimited. Okay, when you save it. Let me just show you what it looks like when you open it up with a an editor. If you right click, um, click like edit with a notepad, you just see XM and YM just with the value separated by commas. Okay, so that's the content of the file. Okay, so that's our data file. Now let's go back um, here now we want to create a, a model file that um, is we're going to use for our correlation. Okay, so for that I'm going to use the AP Monitor modeling language, which is an add-in to Excel um, or actually to MATLAB or Python or Julia. Okay, and um, if I just right-click uh, right in the folder and create a new text document, for example, um, in this case I'll just call this model. Um, APM. Okay, for the AP Monitor modeling language, this is just going to be a text document. Uh, but what, what I want to do is just create a couple new uh, parameters. In this case, it'll be A, B, and C. And then I'll also be using my X measured and my Y measured values. Okay, and then my variables in this case are going to be just, just one, which is that Y value and then I have a couple equations as well. So my first equation is just going to be that correlation um, that we came up with plus C times, um, now in this case um, 
we'll use log, which is the natural log. If you want a log base 10, you do log 10. Okay, and I'll put it as, as a log of um, x. Okay, um, now in this case, for this equation, I don't have an x variable. I'm actually going to use, use the, um, the measured x values. Okay, and then I also want to minimize. Um, in this case, it's going to be y measured minus y. And then let me just normalize it by the measured values as well. Um, and then I'll square that. Okay, so um, there's my objective function. Um, here's my equation. And then I've declared, um, you know, I have a uh, variable y. And then also these three parameters that I'm going to be estimating. Okay, so I've created my model now. Go ahead and close that. Um, so now the final thing that we need to do is create our script. And what the script is going to do is it's going to uh, load the data, it's going to load the model, and then it's going to solve this problem, and then return the results and maybe uh, plot, uh, do some plots as well. Okay, so um, to do this, I'll go ahead and just right click again create a new text document. Um, you can also just open up MATLAB uh, directly. I'll just call this regression.m okay, for a MATLAB file, MATLAB script, and then go ahead and open this up. Okay, the MATLAB will um, open and I'll be able to start um, putting in commands. I could also do all of this through the command window as well in an interactive way. But let's just go ahead and open this up and uh, make a script. Um, okay, so the first thing that I like to do when I'm um, in MATLAB, I like to first of all just clear all of my variables, close all my plots, and clear the screen. And then um, in this case, I want to add path. I just want to load in the AP Monitor toolbox. And so I'll do that with add path APM. So I don't have that yet. Um, one thing that you'll need to do um, is just go to the uh, website. Uh, it came with that folder, but I'll show you how to get this as well. Uh, just get uh, APM MATLAB. You can either get that through Git, um, or if you want to, you can just download it here as well. Uh, just grab this folder, APM. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this into my. Um, okay, go ahead and copy that and then open up this folder and paste it in there. Okay, this is just a collection um, of scripts that allow me to solve these optimization problems. Okay, so um, let me go back to the script now. Okay, so I've added a path just so it can, when I make these function calls, it knows where to go looking for these, um, for these functions. Um, so now I want to define a server. I'll just, um, in this case, define byu.apmonitor.com. Uh, the semicolon just suppresses any uh, output there. And I'll just call this um, data regression. Just got to give your application a name. Okay, so server and application name. And then the first thing that I need to do is just clear um, any application on that server by that name. Um, so that's like the clear all that I did locally for MATLAB. I want to do the same thing here just on the server. Okay, now um, the next two things I want to do are just to load the, uh, the model file. Now this could be any model name, any text file. And then I want to load the data as well. So with CSV load and APM load, um, I'll load, load those. Um, and now I want to set up my parameters. Um, for the parameter estimation. So I'm just going to use APM info server application and then uh, fixed values over the horizon. So over all the data points, I just want one value of A. I don't want a value of A for every data set. Um, and so I'm going to make that a uh, fixed value that I'm going to be able to adjust when I turn on the status. Okay, so A, B, and C. And then um, I'm going to have some options here 
which is a status. I'm going to turn that on with equal to 1. And then I'll do the same with b and c. OK, so that tells the solver that these can become adjustable parameters now. And, um, and then the other thing I need to do is, is an option is um, change the I mode for parameter estimation. So there's a lot of different modes in AP Monitor. Um, let me just search that um, I mode. Um, okay, I'll select the second link here. You can go one through nine. Okay, so here's the different modes. We're going to select uh, model parameter update, you know, just steady state data, um, you know, multiple data points, and uh, there's a little bit more description here on I mode. Okay, so let me go back to here. Um, and then I have, um, I'm going to solve it now. Um, so I'm just going to say APM server application, and then I'm going to give it the solve command. Okay, and then I'll display. Uh, whatever output was there, I could also just take away the semicolon and that would do the same thing. Okay, and then I want to, um, let's just go ahead and solve it here. Um, also, I'll go ahead and run it. Um, and let me come back to the, um, to this. It solved in uh, point zero, uh, 0.0174 seconds. And there's my objective function value and it says successful solution. There were three degrees of freedom. Those were my three parameters. There were um, 23 variables and 20 equations. Okay, so that's just a summary. It's a good sign that um, you know this this was successful. And um, so what I want to do next is just go ahead and retrieve the solution. Um, and I'll do that with uh, if I just say y equals apm underbar sol that retrieves the solution and I just want to grab the uh, the, the values uh, that result from this optimization so I can plot them okay or display them let's go ahead and just display um, the solution as well okay for the a B and C values okay so let me make this um, a equals and then I will number to string uh, just so they're the same uh, format and z dot a I'll just grab the first element of that okay and then I'll do the same for B and C okay so I just want to be able to see the values of um, a B and C when it returns okay and then uh, let me plot this as well I'll do a new figure um, actually I'll just go ahead and run that again let's just see those values that come. Okay, so there's A, B, and C um, for my regression. The actual values were 0 0.5, 2, and 1.5, but there was some noise in the data, and so they were a little bit, a little bit off from that. Okay, um, but it did minimize uh, the solution. So let's go ahead and plot this now. Um, I'm just going to create a new figure. I'll just do figure one, and then I'll plot uh, Z dot. Uh, the measured value. Actually, let me come back here. And I'll just show you what Z looks like. So if I do Z dot XM, then I have all of my measured values, Z dot YM, um, and then Z dot uh, Y. Okay, so there are all my predicted values as well. So what I want to do is just plot um, the predicted and the um, measured values on the same plot. Um, so let me go ahead and do my measured values. I'll do those with, with circles. Okay, and then I want to hold on to this um, that plot that I just did, and then do another one, which is going to be x, m, z, dot, y. And then let's do those with uh, x's. Okay, and then um, let's give it some x and y labels. Okay, so there's our x label, and then our y label. And we'll also do a legend as well. So that'll be our first one is going to be our measured um, and then we have a predicted or estimated uh, correlation. Okay so save that and then run it again and then now a figure should appear once it finishes uh, running um, with our measured and predicted values. So you can see that um, it was able to fit this uh, very well. Um, 
and just with a little bit of noise you can see a little bit of uh, deviation or error in the data. Okay, and there's uh, just the terminal. I'll go ahead and post all these files. Um, these are all going to be from that folder um, that you saw um, here under data regression. So if you just want to run uh, the source code that I just generated, you can come download that there and run it. You can also run this in uh, Python. You know, the same example is uh, here in Python or if you want to do it in Excel as well, um, it's posted with a sample spreadsheet.